is 60, um, C is 40. Let's check. Okay. The first thing that I would do out here is trace of angle A is equal to 4 times angle B. So angle A would become 4 times 4 times angle B upon 3. Okay. Similarly, 6 times angle C is 4 times angle B. So angle C is equal to 4 times angle B upon 6. So 2 to the 4, 2 3 is a 6. Now, now we know that we know that angle A plus angle B <laughs> plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. So angle A comes as 4 times angle B by 3. Angle B is angle B itself. Angle C is 2 times angle B upon 3. So what did I basically do was I converted everything to one variable that is angle B. Now we take the LCM 4 times B plus 3 times B plus 2 times B is equals to 3 times 180. So it becomes a 4, 3, 7, 9 times angle B is equals to 3 times 180, 920. So angle B would become uh, 920 is a 60. Take it. If angle B is 60 degrees, A would be, A would be, where is it? Uh, 4 times 60 upon 3, 320, so 80. Angle A is 80 degrees. C would be 2 times 60 upon 3, 320, so 40 degrees. Take it. Hmm? I just did guess and check. Nice question. Yeah, I was kind of get in JV. <laughs> this this was a good one. Now let's go to the next one. So let's look at it. Take it. If I add both the equation, if I add both the equation, it would be an angle A plus angle B plus angle B plus angle C is equals to a two three eight degrees but we know that angle a plus angle b plus angle c is a 180 degrees so 180 degrees plus an angle b is equals to 238 degrees so angle b would become what 238 minus 180 that would be if i'm not wrong 58 degrees right yep. so Angle A would be 108 minus 58, that is a 50 degrees. And angle C would be 130 minus 58, that would be 72 degrees, right? Easy yeah. go? Yep. <laughs> like, so this would be an X plus an X plus an X plus an 18, that is equals to 180. 3x would become equals to a 162 and x would become equals to a 3 5 is a 15 3 4 is a 12 right so one of the angles is 54 the other angle is also 54 and the third angle would be a 72. yeah, yeah. what is what is this thing with 72 in almost all the questions 